Tuscan chicken is a super easy recipe to make. It tastes fantastic and it's really quick to make, being on the table in no less than 25 minutes from start to finish. There is alcohol in this, but I'll leave all of the substitutes in the description below just in case you can't consume or don't want to consume alcohol. Please sit back, relax and enjoy. All right guys, let's start us off with one brown or yellow onion that's been peeled, halved, and had its tip removed. With this, make thin slices across, stopping just before the root, with the root helping to keep the onion intact. Rotate it 90 degrees, make a horizontal slice through the center to break up the formation, then proceed to slice through, creating a nice small and fine dice, trimming off any excess flesh from around the root and save the scraps for a stock. Of course, we're going to need some garlic, so with six freshly peeled cloves, run them along a fine microplane or box grater to create a paste, which is otherwise known as minced, making sure to scrape it all out of there to avoid any waste. Next is 100 grams or three and a half ounces of sun-dried tomatoes. If they're whole or half, it is a good idea to give them a rough chop to make them easier to eat. But if they're already stripped, you can leave them how they are. Or if you prefer, you can chop them up into nice small pieces. Just do whatever's easiest for you. As for the fresh herbs, here is 10 grams or 0.3 ounces of fresh basil that can be scrunched into a tight bunch to make it easier to work with. Then grab your sharp knife and give it all a quick rough chop, which doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure there's no large leaves or stems, but you can just tear it with your hands if you do prefer bigger pieces. Now, last but not least, we need two large butterfly chicken breasts or four small whole chicken breasts. These can be placed into a mixing bowl and to this, add in one tablespoon or 20 milliliters of unrefined olive oil, one teaspoon or three grams of onion powder, one teaspoon or three grams of garlic powder with both of those adding a nice concentrated flavor and aroma, half a teaspoon or one and a half grams of regular paprika for a slight sweet peppery flavor and nice color, and of course, sea salt flakes to taste and 10 cracks of black pepper. Let's then get our clean hands in there and massage the chicken breast, getting it all fully coated in the nice light seasoning just until it looks like this, which is now ready to cook. Place a large high rimmed pan over a medium high heat, add in one tablespoon or 20 milliliters of unrefined olive oil and once hot, gently place in the chicken and sear for three minutes to obtain a really nice golden color. Once achieved, flip them over and repeat the same three minute process until nicely golden all over, then remove, placing them onto a plate and set them aside for the time being. Into the same pan, add in one tablespoon or 14 grams of clarified butter, allowing it to melt. Then add in the diced brown or yellow onion and saute for three minutes, giving it a mix around every so often until golden and translucent. Next, add in the minced garlic along with one tablespoon or 35 grams of concentrated tomato paste for a nice deep flavor and color. The roughly chopped sun-dried tomatoes for even more depth. One teaspoon or one gram of dried oregano for a bold earthiness half a teaspoon or 1.5 grams of regular paprika for those sweet peppery notes and color and a pinch of sea salt flakes to taste. This can then be given a good mix through and saute for one minute, moving it around the whole time to prevent the garlic from burning. And this will also allow time for the tomato paste to start releasing its oils. Once that's done, deglaze with 100 milliliters or 100 grams of white wine or chicken stock for those that don't want to or can't consume alcohol. Give this a good mix through to pull up the flavors in the pan and allow this to reduce for two minutes or until the wine or stock has pretty much evaporated. Once achieved and we have something that looks like this, let's then add in 180 milliliters or three quarters of a cup of chicken stock to create a flavor foundation to our Tuscan sauce and give this a good mix through, bring it to a boil and let it reduce for one minute. Next to go in is my favorite and that is 400 milliliters or 410 grams of thickened cream which is also known as heavy cream give this all a really big mix to combine which will create a beautiful rosé color to our sauce then bring it to a boil reduce the heat to medium low and let it simmer for seven minutes or until nicely thickened with that accomplished, add in 60 grams or 2.1 ounces of freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano or Parmesan cheese, the roughly chopped basil leaves and 120 grams or 4.2 ounces of baby spinach. Then give this all a quick mix for one minute to melt the cheese, which will help thicken the sauce and season it too, and for the baby spinach to start wilting. Let's then place our seared chicken breasts into the sauce along with any resting juices for additional flavor and give it all a quick mix, getting the chicken coated in the sauce, also increasing the heat to medium high, bringing the sauce back to a heavy simmer, which will ensure that the chicken is hot in the center. Also, whilst it's heating back up, give it a quick taste and adjust any seasoning levels to your preferred taste. Then once back at a simmer, give that flavor friendship one last mix, then remove it from the stovetop. As for serving this up, place the chicken into bowls or on plates and this recipe serves two very large portions or four small portions and it can be served with a wide range of different sides which I'll leave in the description below. Make sure to top this off with that beautiful rich Tuscan sauce, garnish with some thinly sliced basil leaves and hit it up with some cracked black pepper which then leaves us with this beautiful, easy to make and absolutely delicious one pot creamy garlic Tuscan chicken that will impress anyone that you serve it to. The only thing that's then left to do is make all of this worthwhile and that is we can then dig in.